Hey you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today, I'm here to talk with you about my latest make for Cali Fabrics. A few months ago, I was on Instagram when I saw an ad for Loft come up featuring this shirt. Something about it really spoke to me. Probably the ruffle plus stripe combo. So I set out to find some fabric for a me made version. I looked high and low in New York City and found a few contenders but ended up passing on all of them. Then I was on Cali Fabrics site and what do you know, a variant stripe shirting. Even better, it's a lightweight chambray making it perfect for the South Carolina heat and humidity. The fabric itself is really nice with a slightly crisp hand. It's ever so slightly translucent and very, very lightweight. Sewing with it was as easy as any cotton. I did find though that it left behind needle holes from my basting stitches. You can't notice them now though without really looking. Also, the areas where there is a white stripe is a little bit delicate. The fabric in general is a little delicate, but I feel like the weave for the stripes is looser than the weave of the blue stripes. Is that even possible? This isn't one of those fabrics that will stand up to much seam ripping, and trust me, I tested this theory out to the fullest. The shirt is made from three different patterns, really. Since I was trying to emulate the inspiration shirt, I really wanted a super deep hidden placket with long button cuff sleeves. So in order to achieve that, I needed to Franken pattern from three patterns. Most of the shirt is M7391. I stole the pattern markings for the deeper placket from M7360. And then I stole the hidden packet piece and its instructions from Hey June's Biscayne blouse pattern. For the ruffles, I simply cut one and three quarter inch strips to give me half inch ruffles. I sewed the entire shirt per the instructions for each piece, darts, shoulders, sleeves, cuffs, left placket and collar stand from M7391 using the cutting lines from M7360 for the placket. Then when it was time to sew the left placket and then the collar stand, I simply inserted the ruffle in between the pieces so when I turned it right side out, the ruffles would be sewn into those seams. It took some mindfulness for me to make sure I was doing everything correctly, and I definitely made some mistakes along the way, but I got it all sorted out in the end and I'm thrilled with the results. I think that it looks a lot like the inspiration picture, but with the sleeves rolled up, it is more suited to the weather in Charleston. It was absolutely perfect with the sleeves rolled down and a light jacket for an entire day of sightseeing, dinner, and a show in Montreal. I know this shirt will be such a wardrobe staple with its neutral color palette, ease of wear, and most of all, lightweight, breathable fabric. You can find more information about the fabric I used and the three patterns that I used in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.